You ready? Lovely to see you guys. All right. Hi, boys. This device changed the world. For the first time in, I think, our history, there is now a way in which anyone anywhere in the world can participate in a global economy, and that has never been seen before. It's pretty amazing. What Constellation is doing will allow all these devices to connect and communicate with each other independent of any human touch. What we're building at Constellation Labs is a cryptocurrency that is the most efficient, secure, and fair option in this entire ecosystem. There will be about 75 billion connected devices by the year 2022, and we say, hey, how does each device become its own solution? Versus having these centralized servers and server warehouse, every person, every device that's connected could potentially host these nodes. So any device that you have that can compile JVM, right, and has an internet connection, whether it's your phone or your TV or your smart car or whatever, can be connected to the Constellation network and help us maintain it and get paid back out in crypto. So by running that job over many computers, many devices and breaking up, it provides a lower cost ecosystem that just gets faster and faster. The more people that join the network, the more people that come to it. The laptop that's on the sofa over there, the TV that's behind you, uh, the GPS units in a car now, all of these devices are connected together in a constellation and their resources are shared and harnessed. They can actually be used more effectively and give something back to this bigger ecosystem. And we're simply opening that up to many more people. One other really cool thing that we've done, no other cryptocurrency uh, has even tried to do, we literally are unbounded in our throughput. Our transaction rate is exponential with regard to the number of nodes, uh, e to the x. With us, there is no third party. It's directly between peers, and it's a much more seamless experience. In Ethereum, it goes phone to main computer, main computer to phone. In Constellation, it just goes directly phone to phone without fees. What we've done is we've created the same seamless experience that you have when you send money using Venmo or use your Visa card, but without the reliance on a centralized banking authority. I mean, nothing seemed more uh, decentralized to me than Facebook. Everybody participated, you connected with everybody, and it turns out it wasn't the least bit decentralized. It was all, you know, so much of it was a manipulation. So in other words, and another way to describe the benefits of decentralization is through security. What we have here is a centralized technology company that could be a financial institution, that could be a social media platform, and it's holding everyone's data in one place. Now that is very susceptible to attacks. Someone can bring down the whole system and compromise everyone's data and private information. What Constellation is doing is creating a network of individuals and their smart devices. There's a smartphone, there's a connected TV device, car, another smartphone. And once we start to create a network and share the computational power of a centralized network, that becomes very difficult to hack and compromise. You have to take down all the thousands of individuals who are part of the network, and that's theoretically impossible to do. We go out and we practice good business principles that are transparent. We communicate with the public, and we actually build a product that delivers value and substance. And I just realized that this whole time I'd been working towards something, I didn't really know what it was. And I was like, okay, this is it. This is, this is what I've been practicing and preparing for this whole time. It is a global synthetic field of information that is owned by everyone that has a stake in it. Everybody that owns a phone, everyone that has a computer. Um, it is the next generation of internet.